This game day preview is brought to you by Asgro DeKalb. Fifty-three wins, three national titles is what this year's senior class has won in their time at North Dakota State. So it's easy to understand how players and coaches are feeling. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be emotional. It's a rush of emotions. While this class has accomplished many things on the field, it's their work off of it that has led to the most impact. They said, we're going to keep this thing going. And you always think, well, it's, it's going to come from within, whether it's the head coach or the coordinators that are new or assistant coaches. It comes from your senior class. For Bison football fans, these players have given them many memories that will live on forever. However, these fans have also given the players something special. It's, it's a place where it gave a, a kid a chance to, to better himself in the classroom or on the football field. And that's just as a man, as a person, it's a place they gave me a, a place to, to grow. When these players started their careers, head coach Chris Kleiman was also starting his at NDSU, something that has brought them very close. I'm, I'm in the position I'm in because of those seniors. He's been here the whole time with us, and we definitely want to um, you know, put him on top You know, his first year. I can't say enough about that guy because I'll start crying if I do, but you know, I love him. This Saturday will not only be about the senior class because the Bison have a chance to win their fourth consecutive Missouri Valley football title. To be able to say that you're the, the senior that was able to say, I helped get this. You know, I, this is not, not my junior year, sophomore year, you know, I was just a part of it. You know, this is, you know, really your kind of your class, you know, you're, and you're with your guys that you, you know, that you came in with. It will not be an easy task as the Bison will have to defeat Youngstown State. The Penguins currently are 7-4 and four and still have a chance to earn a spot in the FCS playoffs. I just think they're going to be really locked in, ready to go because they're a desperate team coming in here, so uh, they're going to give us their best shot. Much like North Dakota State, the Penguins are a team that really loves to run the football. Youngstown State has two running backs that rank in the top 10 in the Missouri Valley Conference in rushing yards. Well, they're a great one-two punch tandem. Ruiz is a great player. He was dynamite last year as a true freshman. And then I've really been impressed with Webb. Uh, elusiveness, quickness. After throwing five touchdown passes last week, Carson Wentz will look to continue his success when he goes up against a Youngstown State secondary that ranks second to last in the Missouri Valley in passing yards allowed. Coming off of last week against Missouri State, uh, myself and the receivers have a lot of confidence coming forward and uh, the coaches as well and just getting those plays called. Um, I think we have a lot of confidence in the passing game, so uh, yes, we'll, uh, we'll definitely look to take advantage of that. The Bison will look to clinch the Missouri Valley title for the second year in a row against Youngstown State. The Penguins will look to continue their success at the Fargo Dome after winning two of their last three games in Fargo. Kickoff is scheduled for 2.30 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on NBC North Dakota and ESPN Game Plan. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Roy.